everybody. It's Jane Dagny from Designers Today, and I have the pleasure of coming to you by Zoom with two people that are very near and dear to me. Uh, we're speaking today with Jackie Von Tobel, and she's from Las Vegas. And Jackie, for anybody who does not know, is um, an artist extraordinaire, a soft goods connoisseur, an author, and she really, and a product designer. Um, who cannot help putting her touch on just about everything out there. And then from Atlanta, Michelle Smith Boyd of Smith Boyd Interiors, a Louisiana native, now Atlanta based. <laughs> and um, he is an interior designer, as well as a product designer, as well as an on screen personality, as well as an artist. And many more. I mean, these bios are like, it's like a fraction. <laughs> these people are like beautiful human beings in total. Anyway, welcome, Jack and Michelle. Happy Hello. To be so I'm nice so happy to be here. to be here. Hey, guys. So if we were all at Vegas, I know that we would be like carting it up in the left bank <laughs> showroom. You know? First. I mean, you know that for sure. We always met there. So let's kind of pretend like we're there. And I would like you each to tell me what what am I seeing? You know, what what are you introducing this market at Left Bank? And Jackie, we'll just start with you. Fabulous. I'm so glad to be here and so happy that this is going to be running in Vegas market because I'm a Vegas girl, so my hometown. Um, I have been very, very busy, as we all have, I think, in lockdown. For a creative person, it's sort of a godsend because you really have that time to just get stuff done. And so we started off lockdown. I started embracing Left Bank's capability for laser uh, cutting. And that, to me, is something I wanted them to be able to do for a long time. So now they have a laser cutting machine where you can sort of manipulate and make 3D pieces and parts to your art. So I have a big uh, collection of that coming out. Um, it's sort of hard to describe, but it's sort of Damien Hirst-esque um, pieces and parts that um, have backgrounds to them. They're 3D pieces flip forward so you can see behind them. So that's the first collection that's come out. And then we have more portraits um, of altered portraits like the muse behind me. Um, and then I've been doing just uh, tons of custom stuff. I have a really fun um, collaboration coming out with Norwalk Furniture. Uh, we've done a giant mural for them. It's Renaissance based with a COVID twist. Um, <laughs> so that should be fun. That'll debut in the High Point Market showroom. Um, you know, if you got to wear a mask, you should turn it into art, right? So that's sort of what we're doing there. And giving props to some of the finer um, qualities of humanity that we'd like to see more of. So I'll leave that there. And then I've just been painting a lot. Um, I have a new series that I'm painting now. Um, I think I've produced probably 50 pieces in the last um, three months. So that's been good news. Wow. That's incredible, <laughs> Jackie. That's amazing. Very well, prolific. when you know, it's I'm in Vegas. I no longer have an interior design firm to support and and work. So I have the freedom to really be able to do that, which is lovely. So this is a piece that um, this is a very much a work in progress. It's on canvas. I paint on um, unstretched canvas because it's easier for me than to ship it off to Left Bank where they scan it in. But right. this is a new floral series, and I hope you can see it with the light. Not the greatest. Yeah. This is mm. one of the Is that a dahlia? Uh, yeah, this is a zinnia. Z for zinnia. Oh, wow. It's like the flowers of the alphabet. Can you see? Yes. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. Small. And of course, this will get finished. And then who knows what the finished product will look like because they scan everything for me and then I put them in the computer and go to town. So, Don't you love those capabilities? It's, I got to tell you, it's amazing. And then I have one other thing that I've been working on very quickly, of course, the COVID <laughs> puppy. Oh, no, Jackie. I had a Dodson for 15 years. I had, well, I've had two. I have another one who's down here. He is 15 and my 16 year old passed away in January. Yeah. And I was quarantining with my daughter and I had to go out in the midst of the, 
super like in March, the super uh, lockdown in California and find a dog. I was obsessed. And so this is Lulu. Hey, Lulu. Sweet. Dotsons are the sweetest, the absolute you know, this sweetest. Is my, this is my finest production. Very oh. nice. Yeah. Oh. I love that. I always feel so much freedom, which is why we got into this business to begin with. And you know that the more opportunities you get, the more controlled you feel sometimes. Um, however, at Left Bank, you know, it's completely, it's a completely open road. It's all freedom there. So it's exciting. And it's such a collaborative effort. I mean, it's just, uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful atmosphere and so creative and they're so, um, they want yeah, to see you succeed. Of it. Oh, absolutely. But they're yeah. so far thinking and far reaching into the future of the technology. So, Michelle, what have you been working on and, and how has it been creating during COVID? Because mm -hmm. you've got a lot going on in your world. I do. I'm filming a new project that I'm excited about and um, managing more clients than we've had in a very long time because honestly, we re I'm, I'm still running my firm. And so we have so many new clients, but also probably half of my roster are clients who, from the past, who decided, you know what, during COVID, I want an update. I want to make an addition to the house. Or it's, it's crazy. Um, it's crazy. And how do I say no to a client that I worked with 10 years ago? I'm dying to show them how we've evolved, you know, in the last 10 years and actually see how they evolve because that's incredible inspiration um, to see where they've grown from and uh, be able to build something new together for the next 10 years. Um, but I too have an incredible new body of work for Left Bank Art um, and a new partnership with Z Gallery. They just bought 25 of my pieces for their, uh, their stores, which is incredible. And I just got, um, I just saw the spring campaign. It's incredible. The fall campaign is incredible. We're going to work together um, for holiday campaigns. And also, um, I'm going to design some new product for them. Uh, new rugs, new accessories, et cetera. So um, this is going to be Woo! an incredible partnership. Yeah, yeah. Give us a little taste of what you've been painting, drawing, sketching. Okay, so I'm not going to unroll the canvas like my, bad, my badass girlfriend over there. <laughs> but I'm going <laughs> to... What I'm gonna show you is really, honestly, you guys, you understand the climate that's happening in the country and I happen to be black, I don't know if you noticed, but really? as a black creative, you know, we are supposed to, as a creative period, we're supposed to uh, mirror what's happening in the world, right, Jackie? And oh, yeah. you're adding some beauty with your series. And what I wanna do is just add, uh, just celebrate all things black, especially black women. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Oh, gorgeous. That's beautiful. So it's a little bit lighter than what I typically do because these are like watercolors, right? And also a little bit more fashion inspired. So um, the celebration is not to see, uh, or to just see brown faces in spaces that you don't typically, you know, especially in things like fashion or not traditionally African inspired, like always, but a nod to that and a nod to, um, it lending itself to being current and exposing us to spaces that we aren't typically celebrated. So uh, the artwork is kind of doing both of those. Um, and I have a thing for this color right now, Jackie. I don't know if you're obsessed with this kind of like this oh, yeah. burnt orange color. Yeah. So I'm doing a lot of uh, abstracts. That's a pair. There are two of those. I'm nice. really excited about that. Is that also a watercolor? It is. This one's a little bit mixed media, but it's a watercolor and acrylic in there. Mm -hmm. um, but it's on parchment, so it's going to be exciting with the raw edge, you know, floating in the frame. Mm -hmm. So um, I have one question about the fashion, going back to the, the, the women and the fashion. Is that part sure. of a series? Here's Ooh. a series. Oh, <laughs> no, wait. I mean, you know, like you're combining your love of fashion here. Yeah. You know, with your heritage, with current events, with, yeah. you know, it's, it's it, you know. It's really um, an opportunity, like Jackie said, you know, we've had an opportunity to, to uh, sit back for a second and take a look at some things. And there's a lot of stuff that I, this is not even what I planned to do. This is not where I wanted to go with my collection, mm -hmm. but it's kind of where I felt like I needed to go. And I love the idea. Representation is really important. And, and, I, re and I recognize that more now than ever. And seeing these images and people are paying attention to these images now more than ever in this kind of art and this 
particular type of beauty. So I couldn't abandon it just yet. Uh, you know, it would be indulgent of me to just say, oh, no, I want to create something really pretty. Um, but I have a platform and I have an opportunity in here. Let's take advantage of it and use it to bring, you know, this part of the culture to the masses. And Z Gallery is a perfect partner for that. You know, I, I have one thing to say. You know, I think you you filled such a void, though, in the marketplace when, you know, some of your first portraits came out. Yeah. Of ex again, accessible art for everyone that, and art that resonates. Yes. Art that, that resonates. That one is reminiscent. Yeah, but art that resonates with the individual. And me drawing a lot of inspiration from the past, all the paintings are white people. Yeah. And, you know, so I had a conversation with a few of, of my friends and I said, you know, is it wrong for me as a white woman who paints white people, you know, to paint a black woman? You know, I felt, am I going out of my space? Because I have my Floralista series, which is very popular. Mm -hmm. and I, the crown. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're watercolor and they have all the floral crowns on them. So I just am releasing also, um, you know, a woman of color mm -hmm. as a floralista. And I talked to, you know, my black friends and I said, you know, I don't want to seem to be pandering or stepping out of a space that, um, it, it's, a tr it's such a tricky thing now, but she's so beautiful and she's tropical and she has beautiful hummingbirds. And, no, um, that's okay, Jackie. The deal is like, as long as it's authentic, people will mm -hmm. feel that. You know, I think I don't think anything that's fake or anything that's contrived will will last, you know, will work in the long run. Eventually it's it's gonna come to the light that it's not authentic, that it's not real. And that's yeah. what people respond to, the real thing. And in your heart, you're an artist and you wanted to paint a person of color um, as a reflection of the time, which is your responsibility, then absolutely do it. You know, absolutely mm -hmm. do it. Um, um, I paint what's near and dear to me. Um, and so my new series is, is, is a lot of black people, uh, images of black women, but also, you know, lots of abstracts because that's where I am figuring it out. You know what I mean? But to add someone to your collection to, and I like that statement. I mean, I think it's, I think it's not only smart. I think it's, um, I think it's beautiful. Well, it's, it's personal to me because I have so right. many, so many friends, um, you know, that, that my heart is breaking for right now. Right. Let's I was just going to say that to me, your floralistas are like, they're goddess women and goddesses come in every shape, size and color. Agreed. Like, Agreed. You know? mm -hmm. So, um, uh, Michelle, maybe uh, some people have not seen the beautiful chair that you are actually sitting in. And I would <laughs> love, <laughs> I would yes. love you to it's show vintage. us that gorgeous chair. Yeah, we both went, oh my God. Chair. Is that bad? It's like the gorge throne, you know? Wait, brass details. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. It's vintage, but you have it covered, yes? It is a Tony Duquette. It's a st the sunburst. Oh gosh. <laughs> Beautiful. So, yeah, I have it on pillows in the room, but also in a different colorway. Mm -hmm. um, so, in the off white here and in a gray over there. Uh, you know, I'm a Moore's more kind of fella. So uh, what's wrong with Tony Duquette? <laughs> no, nothing. Not a single thing. I I love that. Um, I know that we're running we're running a little bit low on time, but um, I love that art is such a. Um, it, it's so social. It's so. Um, it just transcends, and it's beautiful, and you can get your messages out there, and. And what you're doing at Left Bank, you know, letting it just get into the into the public, you know, yeah, which is great. Yeah. Well, thank, thank goodness for a resource like that that allows us to be so open and you know doesn't edit and you know gives us that platform to really express ourselves as um, artists. And the fact that they also embrace artists that create is something near and dear to you know my heart i'm sure you michelle as well that aren't just yeah. curators, but creators agreed agreed uh, i think i thank god for frankie and for for quinn quinn is like my little angel that mm -hmm. texts me constantly but frankie pushes me um you know it's a great team it's a great mm -hmm. team I, i've never walked into any showroom 
consistently year after year, city after city, market after market, and been embraced authentically the way I am at Left Bank from every single employee, every mm-hmm. single person that works there. I love hearing that. Happy. Yeah. I- I love that, you know, because it's like um, you're given a lot of yourself and um, to feel like you're, you know, um, that it's a win-win for everybody. That's fantastic. I'm I'm really happy that we could get together this way. I want to see you both in person, of course, (laughs) and you will see when that's going to be. But um, thank you for coming on and sharing some of your work and who you are. This is from High Point, <laughs> <laughs> from Vegas and Atlanta. We're all and in the Atlanta. market. <laughs> <laughs>